PyCharm provides us with a console, the Python console. Just select Tools and then select Python console. This console is an interactive one. It allows you to write code in Python and get its immediate execution or evaluation. For example, here I define a variable and assign it with the value 3. And here is another variable with the value 4. And now I want to define a function, so def sum, a function that will receive two numbers when executed and return their sum. So here we have a local variable, its name is temp, assigned with a plus b, and then return temp. Now let's get back outside of the definition for the fun function. Now I can invoke that function, just type sum and pass over a and b and as you can see the value returned from executing sum is 7. Here I can press this button and then just get um, a new fresh console to work with. Over here I can get all variables I have I currently have in this console just press this and you will get all variables and as you can see I have the variable a and b I also have sum sum is also available sum is a function let's turn it off now if I press this button I get a fresh console now if I check the variables and functions I have as you can see none of those variables I created a, b and the function sum exist. Over here I can get additional consoles. Just press the plus button. Each console will have its own code so if I create a variable over here with uh, the value 3 and here I create a with the value 7 if I return back to this console and check the value of a still 3 so each console has its own execution and here I can just uh, close those consoles I am not interested at so just press this button and close the console windows Using the Python console, we can easily delete everything we have in this uh, screen. We just need to right click the mouse and select clear all. Selecting clear all clears the, the screen, but the variables themselves remain in memory. So if I press A, you can see it still exists. If I want to clear everything, all everything we have in the memory, so we just need to rerun the Python console. Now over here you can check the history. 